My name is Jesse Barkley. I'm from Ellenwood, Georgia. I attend the prestigious Tougaloo College. My majors are mathematics and economics, and I play Tougaloo baseball. Oh, that fellowship, it's a great, it's a great uh, experience. Basically, they pick 40 different students from different HBCUs across the world. And what they do is try to help us reform education and just giving us different connections to make our life better and others as well. Okay, so basically my job is currently I'm the operation assistant for Noble Minds here in Louisiana. So basically what I do, I help with day-to-day -day tasks. So that might be that differentials from different things. I might help with spreadsheets, also as well as finance, anything that they need to get done, talk to different vendors, uh, interact with parents, anything that she needs that's on her plate to get done for that day or maybe that week. I'll just take it a day at a time knowing that especially like this internship will help me and build me to where the things that I need to know learn from Dr. Triplett and such matters on how where I'm trying to get. So like teaching for example, I know I don't really take the educational courses at school, so I need some type of educational background. So I feel like this would be a perfect way for me to get that experience and exposure. Also, other different fellowships like the Ronald E. McNair Scholarship, great opportunity. I work with Dr. Cole. I learned about different research. And like I said, after my next step is to go to graduate school. Currently, I have not picked a location of where I want to go, but I know having all this built onto my resume and experience will help me. Dedrick is our second Walton Fellow. First of all, I have to say Walton has been two for two because last year we had a great one and this year he's been absolutely amazing. Um, I think one of the things people don't understand about schools is that in the summer, schools keep working. Um, the kids are off, but the adults are still doing, and that's actually when we get the lion's share of our work done. So having somebody like Dedrick be with us on our team, just from the beginning of the summer to the end of the summer, adding capacity is like money. It's really be it's better than money. It's, you know, another person for free. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it, but he's been great. Yes, Gresham Park is located East Atlanta. Um, it's a more of a trouble area, and a lot of kids have so much potential and talent uh, growing up. It's a lot of people that should be in this seat that I'm sitting in right now, but due to certain circumstances, they weren't guided and they made some mistakes that they should not have ever made. And I feel like they had somebody as a role model to help them they would be in a better predicament. So one of my ways of giving back is hopefully one day providing such guidance for the future because I know what they have, they have to offer. I can understand where they're coming from because I played on the teams with them. They came to my house. I went to their house. So it was a type of relationship that we had and I understand. My biggest challenge is the student athlete. Probably it's going, it has to, it's going to have to be time management. It's going to have to be. I mean, some days you're going to get in learning to give up things to uh, to fulfill the other. So, for example, like I said, 5 a.m., you're losing sleep, but you got to do it. Coach Sanders, if you don't fulfill that requirement, you don't play. If you don't play, you lose your scholarship. So, I mean, so it's just time management and knowing that although you play baseball, but you have a requirement for academics, so you need to do both. And it's just, it's a wonderful experience. It's challenging, so that's something that I can take with me. And that's about it, it's time management. You gotta know when and when not to do things. My advice for the upcoming future is you gotta be hungry, you gotta put in the work. Some days you might not wanna do it, but guess what, somebody else working, and I mean, all I can say to you is, you say you want to be the great, but are you putting in the work to be the greatest? That's what it's all about each and every day. You got to, you got to be able to get it. Because, uh, and one thing that I kind of learned is there's no such thing as a top. Because once you reach the top, you just limit yourself. So that means you can't go no higher. And if you're at the top, everybody can see you up there. So they're trying to get what you're trying to get. So that means you got to keep climbing.